Them get booping at them men and be a darkness here. Oh. Them are no nobody and I go on like them are somebody. Hey peeps, it's your girl Blessed D Gaza Diva and welcome back to the Blessed D Gaza Diva channel. Happy Sabbath to those of you who celebrate the Sabbath and for those of you who don't have a happy Saturday. So what we're going to talk about today is Vibes Cartel being the number one YouTube artist for 2020 this month, the month of November, the month before then and the months before then. Let's kick it. <laughs> You're not like anyone else You find the way you are Did you do this all yourself? A smile ignites the room Sending us up to the time, you know it's Cartel Representing for Blessed D, Gaza D So last night Vibes Cartel's handlers took to Instagram And was showing his total global plays now as you can see on the screen here it says this amasses a total place of 32.2 million these numbers were from the week of november 2nd the week of november 9th the week of november 16th and the week of november 23rd where people are listening from and this is interesting because when you go unless you can correct me down below in the comment section when you go to youtube and you check on where people are playing from i don't think there's any other artist who matches up to vibes cartel as it relates to global plays in terms of the countries so let's take a breakdown and look at the number of countries in which vibes cartel is playing getting most of his views from Kingston. <laughs> we couldn't expect anything less than to see Kingston on the list. Then you have New York, 1.9 million. London, 986. Nairobi, 876. Georgetown, 751. San Jose, 682. Toronto, 497. Panama City, 461. One, big up my dupes from Panama City. I know you're watching now and I know you're Gaza to the bone. So me know definitely say we Gaza run Panama City. Port of Spain, 440 views. Montego Bay, 392. So apparently this is also broken down by regions in Jamaica. Then that's the top cities. So in the top cities view is what I just read, the Kingstons, the Montego Bay, and that explains it because that's in the city. Now to the countries, United States, 7 million. So then it goes again. And I know because majority of my subscribers are from the United States. And I can tell you that Gaza is loved by Jamaicans, but the diaspora, that's Jamaicans living outside of Jamaica itself, them love cartel gone to bed. Jamaica, 6 million. United Kingdom, 2.4 million. Trinidad and Tobago, 1.4 million. I tell you, no, Vibes Cartel is the only dancehall artist in Trinidad and Tobago with a mural on the wall. If you've never been to Trinidad and Tobago, ask anybody who has been to Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm not talking about Tobago, no. Where you're going to Tobago and everybody loves Vibes Cartel. And if you look on this concert, this concert was held in Tobago. And you can see the love they have for him. But Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad. Trinidad, for those of you who know, Trinidad is a Nissan country. Every Nissan will ride past. Every Nissan from the oldest to the newest have a Vibes Cartel playing in there. And every single taxi man have a Vibes Cartel CD, have a Vibes Cartel string up to them MP4, a Vibes Cartel string up in a them automatic cars that come with pre-provisioned with radios or digital sets trust me vibes cartel runs trinidad and tobago the only artist in trinidad with a mural on the wall it was shocking for me to see and when i saw it years ago i'm like hmm so you tell yourself all the artists that has uh, that has that have ever come through jamaica vibes cartel is the only one with a mural there very interesting trinidad and tobago love vibes cartel it's like next to us them love vibes cartel in the caribbean 
to me the most some people will argue that it's guyana i've never been to guyana i can only speak to what i know i know barbados right up there with vibes cartel every boss every corner everywhere is like no other great dancehall artist exists but vibes cartel so i'm shocked to not even see barbados on here but let's continue costa rica 1.4 um, million canada 1.2 kenya we don't know Kenyan girls are the best in the world. We know so the Kenyans, them love Vibes Cartel next to the Ghanians. And Guyana, 965,000 views. And remember, I told you, people will argue that Guyanese love Vibes Cartel more than Trinidadians or Bayesians. But as I say, I can speak to those countries because I've never gone, I've never been to Guyana. And France, you're seeing 836,000 views. And Panama, 664,000 views. So there you have it, people. Vibes Cartel, again, being the number one dancehall artist on YouTube. And numbers don't lie. You can't manufacture these numbers. And when you look at Vibes Cartel's reach and how people gravitate to Vibes Cartel, you know for a fact that these numbers are authentic. You know for a fact that these numbers aren't manufactured. You know for a fact that these numbers aren't fabricated. And one of the things that's going around, all Vibes Cartel songs are not trending in Jamaica right now. One of the reasons why Vibes Cartel continue to sell globally, internationally, is because of top countries like these continuously consuming his music. So when you take away... The, when you take away from the regular Jamaicans, we go on YouTube, we listen to YouTube, we make the song trend. Is the song selling overseas? No. So how you know that an artist is genuinely doing well locally is when internationally the numbers also speak volumes. And if you look on Vibes Cartel numbers internationally, Vibes Cartel, every song, Vibes Cartel drop. Him on iTunes. Him always on iTunes with these songs. All of his last 10, 8 or so songs before these immediate ones. And if you look on the Kenyan song, the Kenyan song is trending in Kenya itself. That's in Africa, as most of you know. And it didn't really trend in Jamaica. It started trending in Jamaica like uh, one week and it was at number 30 something. But Vibes Cartel, we're not asking, we're not talking about no fight no more, but it's a reality. There are people who work in various places who are trying to throttle and put Vibes Cartel's channel on the back foot in Jamaica. So that is how the algorithm, so no matter nobody tell you nothing about, oh, this is not true and whatever, the algorithms will look at channels that are viewed as channels that are priority in jamaica and then channels like vibes cartel channels are put to the back of the list and vibes cartel releases songs so often that you can't say it's because vibes cartel hasn't released something in a while that's why his channel is not up there vibes cartel releases a song every single week so it simply means that there is something underpinning something in the back end something underlining that is causing Vibes Cartel numbers to remain in a particular way and not move forward. Then again, you can argue the point that Vibes Cartel has so many songs out and out of Vibes Cartel camp, there are so many other artists, the Sean Storms, the Sika Rhymes, the, the Lisa Hypers, his sons, Licker Vibes, Licker Addies. You, you, you have to remember that Vibes Cartel is not just one artist. He comes with a body of artists following behind. And because he has a body of artists following behind, people are listening to their songs as well. And most of them are dropping songs same week, same day, same time in which Vibes Cartel is dropping songs. And then we can argue the fact that Vibes Cartel fan bases span across the Unruly camp, the Sparta camp, and those people are dropping songs consistently. Now, mind you, no excuses at all to say, oh, that's why Vibes Cartel is not trending in Jamaica. Because I'll, 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 I'll hold this point and continue to say, Vibes Cartel does not care about trending genuinely. Vibes Cartel has outgrown that. 
Vibes Cartel is now at a stage where it is more the international global numbers, which is why he's posting these numbers that are important to him. Now, if a man had a house with two bedrooms and he lived in that house and he was comfortable with that house and he has the opportunity now to focus on getting a three bedroom in an upscale community and getting more comfort and more recognition or more benefit out of the home in that it will work be worth more than a two-bedroom house that is going to live in a lower community then clear the man is going to focus on the new home in the new community common sense will tell you that this is good to see and it's good to see that vibes cartel is sending a message vibes cartel just don't post anything like that vibes cartel is sending a message to all of you who keep talking about youtube in jamaica who keep talking about views in jamaica who keep talking about Fickle things because in reality, if the trending comes, sometimes when Vibes Cartel drop a song, myself will go out and above and beyond just to prove the point that we still have this. But outside of that, what is there to prove? Because you're not making enough from it as you would on the global or the international scenes. And as much as people want to tell you again, where your video strength in far more outweighs your revenue in your local area. A lot of people may not tell you that. Anyway, tell me your thoughts below in the comment section about what you think about this review. Tell me if you think that Vibes Cartel is sending a clear message that, listen to me, on the global scene, I understand where I stand. I know where I stand, so I'm not perturbed about YouTube in Jamaica. Tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscription bell and click it until you see all notifications. And if you've not yet liked this video, smash the like button and send this out. I'm out.